Hey folks! I'm so excited that you guys have decided to knit along with us for the Solaris shawl. It's a super, super beautiful pattern, really versatile item to wear. Um, the pattern is pretty easy all around. It looks really complicated because when you first start reading the pattern, it has all of your stitch definitions first. So you have all your stitch definitions that you have to read through and then like, I don't know, on the fourth or fifth page, somewhere down the line, it'll tell you how many to cast on. And then it'll refer back to the other section. So that's why it's laid out a little strange. But for the most part, all of the stitches are pretty easy. It's all stuff you know, um, knitting, purling, knitting two together, slipping, those kinds of things. But there's a couple combinations of things like knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, that kind of thing, all in one space. So I'm just gonna quickly do a demonstration of all of the different stitches, including the double stitch that they have you do on the short row, or to create a short row, um, so that you guys have a reference on all of the stitches that you're going to encounter in this knit along. So here we go. Okay, we are going to just quickly go through a demonstration of all of the stitches that you're going to encounter in the Solaris shawl. Um, I have my pattern up on my laptop off screen over here, and I'm just going to start in the abbreviations section. <clears throat> okay, so obviously the first thing that's in there is a K for knit. Everyone knows what a knit stitch is. If you need a reminder, it's just this little guy, just like this, easy enough. The next one is a knit two together, okay? So we execute it just like the knit stitch, but we're just going to insert through two of these, pretending they were one. We're going to do a yarn over, and then we're gonna pull it through, and that is our knit two together. This is a decrease, because now we have one less, okay? Now we have a KFBF, that's knit front, back front. So, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the KFB. So here's KFB, you're going to knit front, back. So I'm gonna execute a knit stitch just like normal. There's a knit, but I'm not gonna pull it off my needle. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm gonna hold my finger on this stitch just to kind of secure it, and then I'm gonna also go again into the back loop of this one, and I'm gonna yarn over, and I'm gonna pull it up just like that, okay? So that has increased. I've made two where there was only one, okay? So I'll show you that one again really quickly. Let's get this guy back on here. Okay, so a knit front back. So you're going to do a knit just like you normally would like this, but then you're also gonna swing around and you're gonna insert it through the back loop and you're gonna do a yarn over and now you've made two, okay? So the next one after that is a KFBF. So it's very similar to what we just executed. So you're going to knit one in the front, swing it around, knit one in the back, swing it around and go under the front again like this. Now these can tend to get pretty tight and then you're done. So if I pull these two away, you can see that I have made three stitches where there was only one previously. Okay, so that's a double increase. We've increased twice. All right, um, then we talk about main color, placing a marker, purl wise. So um, right under purl wise, we have right side and wrong side, and then we have slip, SL, okay? So if it tells you to slip, you just slip, this is slipping purl wise like this, because I'm going into the stitch like I'm going to purl, and then I'm just gonna move it over. So that's slipping one purl wise, okay? If you see a slip one knit wise, it means you're going to pretend like you're gonna knit it, but then you're just gonna slip it over to the other needle, okay? So slipping one is pretty easy. Now, sometimes they'll say something like slip one purl wise with the yarn in front, okay? If the yarn is not in front, that means you bring the yarn to the front, slip one purl wise, and then you'll most likely bring it back to the back, or it'll tell you to purl, in which case your yarn is already in front, right? And then you'll purl. So that is slipping one purl wise with the yarn in front. If my yarn is already in the back because I'm knitting, I'm gonna slip one purl wise with yarn in back. That's the only difference, okay? So when you see uh, with yarn in front or with yarn in back, that's exactly what that means. Now, there is a couple of knit two togethers with the uh, through the back loop, 
okay? So instead of, this is a traditional knit two together when you just go like this and you put both of them in there and then you execute a knit. Well, instead what you're gonna do is you're going to go through the back loops of the two stitches just like this. You're going to yarn over and bring it like this. This just twists the stitch the other way, so it's leaning this direction off to the left on the top like that, okay? So that is a knit two together through the back loop. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, uh, a yarn over is very simple, so if I'm just gonna knit one like this, then I'm gonna yarn over, that's just adding a stitch, okay? And then I'll knit a second one, for example. So now you can see we have knit this one and we've added this one just by doing a simple yarn over, we've increased one, okay? And it also makes a hole. So when you look at the pattern, you'll see that it has a bunch of holes in it and that's why all the little eyelets are made with yarn overs. So those are pretty fun. Uh, the double stitch, okay, so this pattern has a few short rows which just kind of gives it the shaping that it has, um, the triangular shape the shawl has, that helps to create those. So let's see, um, you first encounter a double stitch, I'm just going to scroll down here, you first encounter it in uh, section three, row three, okay, so that row gives you instructions, you're gonna knit one, you're gonna knit two together, you're gonna knit to the last 10 stitches. So what you would do is you'd say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, so I want to knit until the last 10 stitches, so I have two more to knit. So I'm gonna knit one, knit two. Okay, so now I've knitted to the last 10 stitches. Here's my last 10 stitches. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my work so I'm gonna turn it over like this, and then I'm going to execute a double stitch. Now, your double stitch is under special techniques, which is in your pattern right under abbreviations, okay? So we've turned it around, and it says, with yarn in front, hey, it's in front, that's perfect, slip one stitch purlwise. So I'm just gonna take this one, and I'm gonna slip it purlwise back over to this needle like this. Okay, then I'm going to pull the yarn over to the back again. So I'm gonna move it to the back like this. And then I um, am ready for the next knit stitch, okay? So then in section three, we just did row three, for example. And now row four says to knit to the end. So now this is in the back here, and I'm just going to knit all the way back across my other stitches to the end, okay? So what's happening is in this section here, you've just knit over here and you turned around and you're gonna knit over here. So this is gonna be taller because you've added some rows and this is gonna be skinnier because you haven't knit that row all the way to the end, okay? So then this is gonna get bigger and this is gonna remain skinny and that's how your angle is gonna get helped get created is by this row. And they call it a short row because you don't go all the way across. You're like, I'm just gonna go to here, I'm gonna pull this fancy maneuver and then I'm gonna turn around and go back. So your row is just a little bit short. So that is what that is. Um, the last stitch that I want to talk about is, let me just get one more away from this. Um, there's a spot in here where it tells you to knit, it'll have it in parentheses. It says knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, all in the same stitch. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So I'm going to knit one like this, okay? And I'm not gonna pull this stitch off because I have to do a whole lot more with that stitch. Then I'm gonna yarn over. Then I'm gonna knit one. Then I'm gonna yarn over. <sighs> then I'm gonna knit one, this is my third one. I'm gonna knit it, bring it up, okay. Whew. Yarn over. And then this is the fourth knit one. So I'm gonna knit one, and then it says to pull it off. Holy moly, all right, check this out. I just made seven stitches in one stitch. How cool is that? 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is a knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, all in one space. Got it? And those are all the stitches that you are going to encounter in the Solera shawl. So I want to make sure if you have any questions about this video or if you're having trouble executing any of the stitches, please make sure and take a photo of what you're working on and post it here in the Facebook group so that we can answer all the questions you have and you have a very successful knit along. Welcome aboard.